Okay, I've diced some um, potatoes, some vegetables here. Um, carrots, celery, celery with the leaves, um, parsnip, radish. Not many people would ever think of cooking radish, but it's actually really quite tasty. But, um, if you don't like radish, if it's a bit too spicy for you, if you the same with celery. It makes it much milder, much tastier, I think. And I'm going to add, um, I'll get a potato as well, chop that up, and, yes, and you might think I'm a bit loop-de-loop -loop here, but I'm adding a little bit of um, diced, diced, chopped up, um, cos lettuce, yeah. Now I mustn't forget the potato, hang on. Yeah, just a smallish potato, that one will do. There goes the potato. I am, in fact, making this up as I go along with whatever... I have to hand um, most of the vegetables I got from Sainsbury's as they were closing for the evening. So they were all like about a quarter of the price that they normally are, which is all good. So I've now added to that um, a bit of pepper, a bit of garlic, and a vegetable stock cube, a Sainsbury's Basics vegetable stock cube, which last time I looked were 10 pence for 10. That's, so that's a penny. Wow. Last of the big spenders. And I put some cling film over the top. And I'm just going to pierce that cling film. Whoops. Can't do that with one hand. And the camcorder in the other. Pierce it in a few places. I've also added um, a, about a tablespoon of water just to set it off. I'm going to do that in the microwave. Um, 30 seconds at a time, give it a shake, 30 seconds, give it a shake until they're all nice and soft and cooked. So in the bowl here I've got 6 ounces of flour and I'm going to add, sorry, 12 ounces of flour. I'm going to add a 6 ounces of shortening. You can use margarine, butter, uh, lard. Um, if you're using lard, best using half lard, half margarine and um, cheap flour, you don't need any other, I don't, there's no need really to buy the expensive stuff. You can buy a big pack of um, flour for, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't really notice, 60p or something. And we're going to mix that together by um, rubbing in, you usually use two hands, but I've got the other hand on the camcorder, just get your fingers up and rub like this. Rub it into the flour until it goes crumbly, nice and lightly. Lift it up. <laughs> That's a bit hard with one hand. Lift it up, rub it in until it goes crumbly. This is how you make crumble. Actually, add a bit of sugar. You can. This is how you make a crumble topping. Don't squeeze it together because it will go into a hard lump. You don't want it a hard lump, you want it nice and crumbly. And this is going to be the pastry for the pie. So there it is, nice and crumbly. You can of course make this a bit healthier. You can um, use wholemeal flour or you can add maybe some bit of roughage by adding and, and um, omega by adding linseed, powdered linseed or oat bran which is apparently good for your heart you could add a bit of that but make sure you weigh it in with the flour when you do it we're going to add some water there now just a little bit at a time because you have to be careful not to add too much water to um bring it all together so we can roll it out i'm a bit of a cheese i do it straight from the tap just a little bit of water at a time mix it in See it start to clump together. We keep doing that until we've got a nice big lump of pastry. So there's the vegetables cooked. 
make sure they're well cooked because vegetables do give off water. Sorry, you can't see this, it's all so steamy. Um, they do give off water as they're cooking, so if they're not cooked properly, you put them in the sauce. They don't give off water and your, your whole pie filling is going to be far too runny. Way of making a sauce. Heat some milk up in a pan. I'm using soya milk because my stomach doesn't take too kindly to having too much milk. Um, yeah, a bit of corn flour, a tablespoon or so. I mix that with water. Always mix it with cold water. Turn the heat off and add a load of cheese. Don't boil it after you've added the cheese and stir that in until it's melted. And you want your pastry, obviously, bigger than your pie dish, so I think I just need to roll that out a little bit more. Pie dish, or like me using non-stick. Put your, pop your rolling pin on the pastry and just fold the pastry over it and that will make it easier to lift up and put on your pie dish. So don't stretch your pastry to make it fit because it will just shrink back again when it cooks. You put the light on please, turn it up. And um, there you are, made far too much. Never mind, we'll use that for something else. If you don't have a pie dish, you can use any um, deep oven proof pie plates. I'm just going to put that filling in now. And then I'm going to roll over out the rest of the pastry and um, put that on the top. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Again, just check by putting the pie dish over the pastry you've rolled out to make sure it's big enough to fit over the top. And and I've um, brushed the edges all around the edges with water to make sure it sticks. And fold the pastry over to fit. And then we'll trim the edges like we did before. And just go around. Pressing the edges together to make a seal. Um, cut a strip of leftover pastry and then do some diagonal cuts to make diamonds. And these can be decorative leaves, just make a pattern on there with a knife. And with a little bit of water you can stick them on the top. And there's your pie ready to bake. We just um, make a few holes. Let the steam out. We'll pop that in the oven as you do any pie. Don't know what temperature, medium sort of, till it's cooked. Um, what I've done with my leftover pastry is to knead a bit of um, cheese into it and roll it out. I'm just brushing it with water so that when we put a bit of seasoning on, I'm going to use a bit of um, a bit of salt and chilli, sprinkle over the top, and they'll stick nicely with the water on there. And I'm going to oh, I'm shaking the camera. They're going to. Um, I'm going to cut them out and bake them at the same time as the pie. Um, excuse me, I'm just eating some of this now. This is so delicious. It doesn't look much there. But as you can see, we've had quite a bit of it already. That was last night. And I've just had some for breakfast. It was a bit naughty, wasn't it? A lot tastier than it looks, honestly, it really is nice.